Okay, so here we have some more higher dimensional puzzles. We have the Kronos, which is four dimensional. We have the Argo, which is six dimensional. <coughs> but we are first, before going to the six dimensional, we're going to the five dimensional. Those two are the same structure. It's called Pegasus. Another Pegasus. And I'm going to show you how it moves. So when you minimize the edges, just we did with Kronos, we minimize the edges, we have this shape. If we minimize the edges with this one, we get this shape. This looks like a boat or like a horse. Anyway, at the top we have the green and the grey. And we have three different options to move this corner or this corner. So okay, let's say the blue corner to move it through this triangle or to move it through this triangle or to move it through this triangle and every time we have different um, different uh, results for example now when I minimize all the external edges always external edges I get a different different result. So now at the top of the green and the purple. Now let's say I try to move this one through let's say this corner here. So this corner here. Okay. Oh no, it's not going to work this way, sorry. It has to work this way. And by minimizing again all the external rods, we have another interesting result. So you do the math. There is three different moves, so this is much more complex than the Kronos. And this is the other version as well. I hope you liked the Pegasus.